Hey everybody, Robert Michelson, Mr. Sydney, but you know that already. Uh, so, getting some stuff done. We did some work yesterday. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, today was one of those where I get up at 4 a.m., go work a nine-hour shift at the restaurant, get home at 2.30, 3 o'clock, well, 3 o'clock by 3.30, I'm out because my guys have been here since like 8 a.m. working on stuff. Gotta love them. Joe and Derek, man. Can't stop them. Welcome to Sinister Sin. So, uh, one of the things, now this isn't what we were working on yesterday, but I show up and they've got this done. A new exit for the clown tent. New hallway. It's going to be a mirror hallway. Coming out of there, I'll give you a side shot. So they got this frame, just got a nice awning over the top, which thank you Red Oak Healthcare Community. Uh, this was their old one that they donated to us. And we'll put a uh, slant roof, well it's actually already a slant. We'll just flat roof that across there. So that was nice, that's a nice long hallway. Coming out there again, I believe they plan on making this a mirror hallway. That would be up to Tyler Dusty. Uh, they handle this section, but I think that's what the plans are. For it. All right. So then, what we were working on yesterday, besides the costume shop, which we we're working on naming the, the building, um, we did a little bit of work cleaning stuff out of there so that we got room to do stuff. And then we came over to Derek's shaft, and he has, like, really, really uh, expanded and been working hard on this. And then Joe and I came over, and you see that? See that ridge? That's our center room. We put that up, and today they are sealing it. Yes, I got secret panels. So they're working on putting up the tin for it. Oh, need another one or you got one? He's got them this time. Put up the J channel to hold the, the metal. Now we're gonna metal the inside. Just tarp the outside. Don't get a rain build up on it, but so we've got that going. This, of course, will have the 100 million watt light in it, it and be all white where everything else is almost pitch black. Maybe a couple oh, hello, maybe a couple flicker lights. Somebody's already taken up residence, isn't he pretty? I see your belly, and so yeah, this is just all over windy and there's some dead ends and I don't know this whole section yet but it goes all over the place and it will be black walled and we'll have a couple here and there we'll have a flicker light but mainly black and tunnels all around that lots of them just lead you right back to the same room and you got to find the right way out to get out and about so that's the cool stuff we're working on today more to come it's about six o'clock um, we're calling it a day on the maze Derek managed to on the shaft excuse me Derek managed all the walls all the main stuff up it is complete as far as path wise and everything like that and let me tell you it is confusing AF. I'm not going to walk you through it. That would spoil things. Not that you could really tell anyway. It will all be blacked out. It will have walls, all that kind of stuff. The pallets are just the structure uh, to let us know how to do it. They did start. Start. Oh, I'm trying to point you in. They did start tinning the inside of the roof. So that we have, we'll have that seal there. This, of course, will have a roof on it. 
we've got to measure the full size of it it's pretty darn big so we're going to take the uh, tools back I did a bunch of trimming up by the circus tent um, where we put that new hallway on because there were some trees that were kind of touching the, uh, the what a canopy and I did around the the ones that were endangering the dragon tunnel got that done now I am going to haul tools back and then uh, feed the horses and while I'm feeding the horses they're gonna start pulling out a tarp and I'm gonna measure that tarp see how much we got and how much we have to work with uh, so yeah or it's uh, th this is a momentous day because the Derek's oops oh <laughs> that guy right there the shaft walls are they're up the structure is the structure is there and this is what the, the 27th of August the structure is complete we got all these baseboards he's got to put down so we can seal the bottom of it and it's going to be fun. We even ended up with some pallets left over that the kids can use over in their new section of Scarecrow Alley. So, yeah, now I'm going to I'm going to go over and feed the horses because they need fed. And we're going to measure that tarp. Measuring out our tarps to see we got a 7x20 and an 8x25 up there that we've already rolled up. Had these for a little bit. Oh, they still got some grain and shit in it. Oh, and a pile of poop. Something's been living in there. Yes, these are grain tarps. Freebies. You deal with the holes and what have you, but... Freebies. Oh, I should probably do more than just... Feeding the horses while they're doing this. Speaking of which, Spirit is almost done with hers. So I got, oh, she's already over there. Spirit? Get that girl. She is a glutton. And she will go in here and steal Rome's food when she's done with hers. He's a slow eater. Hi, Spirit. For those of you who don't know, Spirit and Rome have lived here for a long time. She is 27, he is 28. She's just an Avero paint. And he is a old purebred Arabian championship reigning horse who is now just a hay burner. He's a hard keeper, he stays skinny. That actually isn't bad. You guys may go, oh, look, you can see his ribs. You can always see the ribs on these guys because he's a Polish Arabian and they have a pot belly and that pulls on their ribs. He's actually looking pretty good now. Look at that butt muscle. Not bad for an old guy. I'm gonna keep her off while they're measuring. Isn't she pretty? Our haunt horses. Look at this old man. Look how gray he's getting. Look at all that gray on you. Good boy. She, on the other hand, has no problem keeping weight on. She's a fatty. She's in pretty good shape right now. All right, yeah, that's his. That's his. Got a blocker. Hello, time jump. It is now September 2nd. And uh, we're back at it it's Saturday. We've got, oh, wrong one. We've got more tarp to pull out and measure, and then some to take up. Got Joe's over there working on the costume shop. I think we're getting our toilet, along with other things. Kids are going to be here to work on one of the new sections. So we got all kinds of stuff to do today. I will try to remember to do some updates as we go. Well, here we go. First test. We got our new toilet. Time to test it. Yep, it works. Yay. 
and no leaks. So I gotta take a quick trip to Menards. Quick trip. It's uh, about what an hour and a half travel to and from. Probably 20 minutes at the store. So about two hours out of the day, gotta run to Menards, meet chicken wire, a few other little things. Contractor wasn't able to get to uh, this week to pick up, but we're getting stuff done. Waiting on the crew for the Scarecrow Alley. We get there, found uh, went around to our other projects, found about 26 more pallets for them, so that should allow them to finish up their project. I think I need some staple guns too. I had like six staple guns last year, and they're all gone. Who knows where they go? So anyway, yeah, just uh, air conditioned. It's going to be close to 90 degrees today. It's getting there already. So that'll be, uh, this is just nice, relaxing little two hours out of my day to get this stuff. But you do what you got to do, right? Traveling 29. North Council Bluffs to see the new Menards. They just opened up a new building, closed down their old one. Probably going to end up being a, a giant uh, Spirit Halloween next year. I don't know what they're doing with it. But anyway, quick updates. So I'm back at the house, back at the haunt, working costume shop don't know why just can't wrap my hand head around the simple little plumbing thing it's just a p-trap or an s-trap that's all it is For some reason today my brain is just not functioning right and I just can't get the right combination of crap to make it work I'm down here getting ready to feed the horses Joe has been working on putting the tin I'll show you more of that on the center room for the maze the kids were here working on Scarecrow Alley in the circus tent. So stuff is getting done. Horses are yelling because they hear me. Um, yeah. So I got there. I got, got the toilet working in there. Yay. Got toilet paper there. I'm wiring for that center room. What else? Uh, we moved a whole bunch of pallets. Uh, anyway, I got to go feed the horses. I'll be back. All right, so the boys are packing out. There I go with that all right again. Boys are packing out for the night. See what they got done while I was in there. We are starting to chicken wire top it for support. I'm running the electrical to the middle. And I hear they have the room topped, yep. There's a roof on the room. Now there will be a tarp over the top of that. This is the inside of it. Starting on the walls. It's going to be a white room. We're going to have to obviously wash those down so they are white. But that'll be fun. But yeah, I'm running the electrical line right now for our light up there. He's done. Eh, that's something on my foot. A bunch of the chicken wire topping. This will give us more support on the tarp. And yeah, I'm OCD about crap. But also keep all the shit from falling in here 
all the leaves and everything until we get the tarp on. So that'll keep it a bit cleaner in here. Awesome. Got a lot of it done. Got to hook some of them together. Awesome. And the kids worked on the uh, uh, Scarecrow Alley, not on the circus then I guess, but on Scarecrow Alley. Uh, Alright, well I'm going to get to running some more, tapping in some more electrical. Okie dokily. So I got the uh, outlet for the center room wired in. I don't have a socket on it yet, but I got it wired in. So that's good to go. Um, let's walk over here and see what the kids did to Scarecrow Alley. I think they just did some cleaning up. I don't know that they really did a lot. They were here making plans. Kind of proud of them. They're not construction people. But they built a little corral. One layer of it at least. With in and out swinging doors. That's nice. I love that chair. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but it's very cool. You need some cleanup out here. So we're going to be taking this hallway off the claustrophobia tunnel off the back of this room, of this building. And it's, it needs to be, it's been up for six years. And I made it, we made it out of OSB to begin with, and it's it's rotted out and all that. So it's going to come off. That's going to come off, and we're going to guide them instead of straight up there. They're going to be guided in through here, and then through the new little building, and then back out. We'll lose this little space here, but they'll repurpose all their nice little thingies, and they will come back out here. And then continue on. Oh, looks like they're pulling out the scarecrows. Setting up the photo op. Now every year my daughter goes out and collects cucumber vine to adorn her wicker man with. And this year the cucumber vine came to her. Yep. That is the wicker man underneath there. <laughs> I think I showed that already. She'll actually have to cut that back a bit. But they're they're getting prepped. I don't know if they did anything inside. I do need to go back and make sure that they closed and locked the back door. The kids were here and they're not always great at that. Looks like they did a little bit of clean up. Okay, yeah, looks like they started doing some cleanup in here. Nice. Need to reset the pattern for the lights that are up there. Little puppy. Make sure this is closed and locked. Yep, feels locked. Okay. Cute. Those are adorable. All right, so focus. There we go. A little entryway. Let's see. Not available when using ultra wide. Entryway display stuff. Beautiful. People come in, that's the first glimpse they get of it when they're put in the spotlight. All right, so got all that done. More work tomorrow, full day tomorrow yet. Lights are coming on. 
Oh, duh. I turned the power on. Lights are on. It's starting to be able to see what they do because it's getting darker. It's around 7.30. Getting about time to do the my house chores. Feeding the animals and what have you. The rest of the animals. Already did the horses, of course. And then... Oh, good. He pulled that. Pulled my rod iron out. I can use that. And I'm burning off some of the scrap. So we got a nice little fire going. It's coming along. One month before we open. Love this fire ring. She did such a good job of that. Let's just pull these. Pull the weeds. Got to clean up all that. The smell has gone away. We uh, figured out why Mama Cat did not want us putting the kittens in here. And Minnie, who has been living in that little hole there for a while, spending most of his time in that kennel spot, he quit. Something's dead underneath there. We had it was pretty smelly for a couple days. That happens. So now it's just peaceful. Go in, relax a little bit. Uh, leave you with the fire. Ain't it nice? See in the funny pages. All right, little addendum. Um, so when you're doing, I'm doing all this kind of stuff, I have to remember to lock up the costume shop <laughs> before going to bed. I had to walk clear back over here. That's about a quarter mile. Um, yeah, to shut everything down. But as long as I'm here, see I brought down, there's the, the map of the haunt. And I've got it all gritted out because we're going to paint it on that wall. We're going to put it up there, and that way we can mark who all's where. And the other thing I bought for our makeup room, um, I bought some of these for above the mirrors. I got lighting for around the mirrors too. Um, but since we can't really hardwire them in, uh, they have to. I'm making them so they just plug in. And so we don't have to plug them in and out. Oh, look at that. I've got a remote control. So that'll handle, it's a three station remote control. That'll handle this station. And there, that one there, and this one over here. These are so handy. Harbor Freight Man, like 16 bucks. Handles three stations. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Time to shut it down. And once again, see you in the funny pages.